how high intensity interval training or chaos training triggers growth hormone release. High intensity interval training, also known as chaos training or HIIT, involves performing exercises like weightlifting, cycling, sprinting, or other resistance exercises with high intensity and brief periods of low activity or complete rest in between until your muscles are exhausted. Such exercises can trigger the secretion of growth hormone. But how is the question? And the detailed answer is in this video. As our bodies perform heavy exercises we begin to breathe faster as we attempt to shuttle more oxygen to the active muscles. This is because, during exercise the active muscles have to move faster and as the muscles contract, a lot of energy is required. The energy is obtained from the oxygen we inhale because the body generally prefers to generate most of its energy with oxygen. The oxygen will have to be pumped around the body faster than usual and in the process, the heart rate will also rise which will also require more energy. Hence when performing the high intensity exercises, time comes when there isn't enough oxygen to keep up with all the body's energy demands. In such cases, the working muscles generate energy from glucose through a process called glycolysis, in which glucose is broken down or metabolized into a substance called pyruvate. During glycolysis which is the process of glucose breakdown for energy production, one molecule of glucose is broken down into two molecules of an acid called pyruvate. The active muscle cells can continue with this kind of anaerobic energy production at high rates for only 1 to 3 minutes due to muscle fatigue but what causes muscle fatigue? In the absence of oxygen, pyruvate is converted to lactic acid. If lactic acid is not removed in time, it will be decomposed and converted into lactate and hydrogen ions. The primary means of lactate removal include its uptake by the heart, liver, kidney and brain. However, when performing high-intensity exercises, lactate can accumulate to high levels and the lactate buildup reaches a point where it can no longer be absorbed by the body and this is referred to as the lactate threshold or limit. The threshold at which the lactate buildup in the bloodstream is higher than what the body can remove. Continued exercise above the lactate or anaerobic threshold results in accumulation of the hydrogen ions which leads to acidosis. Acidosis leads to intramuscular exhaustion and pain. This is a natural defense mechanism for the body. It prevents permanent damage during intense exercises by slowing the key systems needed to maintain muscle contraction. This is a natural defense mechanism for the body. It prevents permanent damage during intense exercises by slowing the key systems needed to maintain muscle contraction. During this often painful sensation, we stop overworking the body, thus forcing a recovery period in which the body clears the lactate and other metabolites. Once the body slows down, oxygen becomes available and lactate reverts back to pyruvate, allowing continued aerobic metabolism and energy for the body's recovery from the strenuous event. Given that high-intensity exercise induces the production and release of lactate into the blood, increased blood lactate concentration in the blood triggers the release of exercise-induced growth hormone response from the pituitary gland. An exercise intensity above lactate threshold and for a minimum of 10 minutes appears to elicit the greatest stimulus to the secretion of GH. Growth hormone plays a very crucial role in growth and development of the body. First growth hormone directly promotes the growth of body tissues including muscles and skeletal bones. Second GH stimulates growth of cartilage and other tissues by increasing the number of cells rather than by increasing cell size hence it stimulates the regeneration growth and repair of cartilage even among adults. Last but not least if your growth plates still exist, GH stimulates longitudinal bone growth by stimulating the multiplication and differentiation of bone manufacturing cells in the growth plate. Which exercises should you perform as part of chaos training or HIIT? 1. Sprinting. You should repeatedly sprint at top speed then relax by performing an exercise at low intensity like walking or even resting immediately after the high intensity sprinting. 2. Sprint cycling. You can sprint cycle for 8 seconds then cycle for 12 seconds at reduced intensity for 20 minutes. Other examples of high intensity interval training include. 3. Mountain climbing. 
4. Calisthenics or exercises that require little to no equipment but your body weight like push-ups, pull-ups and sit-ups. 5. Resistance training or weight lifting. 6. Stair climbing and many others. I illustrated how I personally effectively used HIIT or chaos training to increase growth hormone in the Grow Taller After Puberty Exercise Routine Handbook. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this.